Hello everyone, quick update on where I've been real quick. It can be summed up as both health issues and computer trouble, more the latter than the former lately. I just didn't have the chance to do last month's Humble review because of the computer issues or any of the other videos I had planned for quite a while because of that. I had begun writing it, but with things out of commission, I just couldn't get it done, so I'm sorry about that. I really am. Hopefully now I can get onto some kind of schedule like I am always hoping to. This month's Humble review is still forthcoming, but someone bought me Greedfall at around the same time the Humble Bundle was coming out, and it kind of sucked me into a black hole where all my time went to die. And honestly, that's as good an introduction as any, so let's talk about Greedfall. You know, it's weird trying to talk about this game, because at once, I both feel like I have very little to say, and yet quite a lot. It's such a large, unique, multifaceted game that it's almost as if even trying to touch on it all is an impossible task. And yet, despite its uniqueness, there is a lot of familiarity here, but that is not a bad thing at all. I haven't finished it, but I've gotten what I assume to be is pretty far, and I have to say, I absolutely adore this game. I have never played a game that tackles this era or these aspects of it. I've never seen this kind of world in a game before. It's sort of a post-colonial, late renaissance setting in a really interesting world with several compelling factions, one of which you represent. It also explores the very real and sometimes very uncomfortable or even upsetting issues of colonizing a place that happens to already be populated, something that has tragically happened far too often throughout history. As the player character, you play Lord or Lady Desarde, the cousin of the son of the prince. The prince is the leader of the Congregation of Merchants, a country that has stayed neutral in a bitter war between Teleme and the Bridge Alliance for decades. Teleme are religious whack jobs in all the worst ways, and the Bridge Alliance are mad scientists in all the worst ways. Early in the game, you are sent with your cousin to the island of Tir Ferdi, a journey of months across the ocean. He will act as the governor, and you will act as legate, effectively a diplomat or ambassador whose position is to deal with the various other factions on the island, including the natives. In my case, I treated this as a delicate balancing act to try and keep everyone from one another's throats. You don't have to, though. There seem to be plenty of opportunities to piss off the other factions. Me personally, I heavily prioritize the natives. It's their land, we're guests, and we've been terrible house guests. Of course we have. My main goal from the moment I got to the island was getting everyone on board with this new idea that, hey, stop treating the natives like shit. Jeez, guys. I could actually talk about all this for hours. I've really barely touched on the complex political and social web in this game. I will simply say it's very well done, and I found it deeply engaging. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, though. While you are given quite a few choices in the game, a lot of conversations can feel downright non-interactive. I remember there was one point where I turned a quest in, and after a short conversation, the dialogue ended and I got a reputation hit with one of my favorite companions. I was like, what the hell? I didn't even want to say it like that. No wonder she hated it. So I reloaded the game, took her out of the party, and turned it in again, and what do you know, no reputation drop. On the other hand, I had other moments where I definitely had some major choices that had opportunity to anger my companions. I remember one particular situation where giving away some of the secrets of his people made sense because it would get the religious nutjobs off their backs, but he didn't like it even though it was beneficial to him and all of his friends. So I could have kept that to myself, but I felt like it was a mistake not to tell them why all their fears are unfounded, so I took him out of the party and made those decisions without him, avoiding a reputation hit with both him and his faction. I guess what they won't know won't hurt them? <laughs> Say what you will about Greedfall, it has made me way better at lying and going behind people's backs. Damn. Anyways, you may be thinking I've dropped a lot of spoilers. Not really. The game is huge and complex, and there are a lot of things going on. There are many side quests and companion quests, and the main story as it progresses has pulled me right in. The world is so fantastic. The world building in this game is some of the best I've seen. The graphics aren't super AAA top-notch, but I've never cared that much about that anyways. Keep in mind, most of the footage in this review is on medium graphics because my computer has been overheating on anything higher, even with a fan blowing directly on the CPU. That's related to the computer problems I've been having, and it is not the game's fault. 
But regardless of graphical fidelity, the actual design of the world and the setting is absolutely breathtaking. When you are in a city, it feels like a legitimate city, thriving, living, breathing. It is incredible. And when you're in the wilderness, it often feels so weird and wonderful and isolating. When I first exited the starting building into the wider world, I legitimately gasped because I was so blown away by what I saw. I've left that moment out of this even though I wanted to show it because I feel like you need to experience that for yourself. It is amazing. This game is laid out like Dragon Age or The Witcher, broken up into several large, complex zones. Traveling between them actually tells you how many hours it will take, and time will pass in-game. Also, when you're traveling, you will have a small camp that you load into with a merchant, storage, crafting, and all your companions between the zones. This camp is actually really cool because you can take a few seconds to change your party around, sort your inventory, etc. while the next region loads in the background. It even has a handy little message that pops up in the corner when loading is complete. In this way, you can pretty much avoid loading screens almost entirely, and the game feels a lot more seamless. With that said, I should touch on combat. There seem to be three main combat styles in the game. Melee fighting, alchemy and gun combinations, and magic. I chose the second of those because I like guns, and I like bombs, at least in a video game. Even with guns and bombs, I still had either a rapier or a saber, and I have to say, I think the melee system is really cool. It has parries, counterattacks, and things like that, without being overloaded with bloat, like Kingdom Come Deliverance, a game with combat so dedicated to realism, it was almost impossible to play. Action is fast and deadly, and dodging around the battlefield will be really important to your survival. Combat reminds me a lot of the Witcher games or even Assassin's Creed. It's not a bad thing, it's a lot of fun. There are even stealth mechanics where you can execute stealth kills, or put on enemy clothing to pass yourself off as another faction, and get into places you don't belong. There are entire quests revolving around stealth mechanics, or that feature the stealth mechanics as a major option, and they are really satisfying and a lot of fun. Finally, the music. It's damned beautiful. There was nothing in here I didn't like. I remember enjoying every moment of the game all the more because of it. The music paints a bleak and vivid picture of civilizations on the verge of total decay, and it is haunting. Overall, Greedfall is a fantastic game. It has issues, but they are strongly overshadowed by all the things I felt were done so right by the designers. I give Greedfall a rating of must buy, especially if you are a fan of the old Bioware. Let's be real everyone, Bioware is dead. It is a husk, and it has been for some time. But Greedfall captures a lot of what made the old Bioware games so charming and engaging while still putting its own spin on things. I feel like Spiders, the developer, has the potential to be the next Bioware, or even better. And you know what? I am perfectly fine with that. Buy this game, support the developers, show both them and the rest of the game developer community what we as gamers really want from our games. I want to see Spiders grow because of this game, and I want to see them be prosperous and bring us more and better games like this one. They have proven that they have the technical expertise, the drive, and the imagination to create something truly beautiful and unique, and I look forward to seeing what they do next. Thanks for watching, everyone.